Welcome back, working gnomes of the world. This is Little Big Workshop, and I am, of course, the chief gnome, the head honcho. It's me over the potato. Uh, that's right. So, in the last episode, in the last episode, we managed to turn our financial situation around completely, and I'm very much hoping that in this episode, we're going to be able to continue to grow uh, our finances, get them to a, uh, a an even better place than they uh, than they currently are. Uh, but also, kind of importantly, I want to I want to sort of think about proper optimizations. I want to get some new specialized machinery, uh, stuff like the foam injection machine, not super handy as of yet, but stuff that we'll definitely need to get in time, uh, the milling machine, uh, the stick saw, all of this stuff, we want a whole bunch of specialized equipment, we maybe even want to pick up uh, a secondary band saw, or, uh, or maybe... Or maybe another, or maybe another circle salt. I also want to sort of think about storage optimization in this episode. So at the moment, we've got two shelves that are waiting to be uh, moved into a storage area. But I've got a little bit of an idea about how we go about changing things slightly, and it involves using zones because we can actually put down zones right below. Yeah, right below, right below here. So we can put an export zone, right? We can put an export, well, not even necessarily an export zone, just a just a zone right down over here. So, the point of doing this, let's get this moved as well, let's stick this a little bit uh, somewhere, somewhere else. Let's stick it over there, sure. Move it over there. And let's also queue that up for repair, but that's already been done, so that's fine. All right, the point that I'm trying to make is that we can have the inputs for these two machines right over here. So the lathe and the circle saw, uh, the inputs are going to be there. And the outputs for those machines should go into here. So we can use this as a general storage area for machines, that, uh, for, for, other, for other workstations. You, 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 see what I'm, you see what I'm saying? I don't want to put it as a straight up export zone. Can we... Can we think about doing something like this? Maybe... Yeah, maybe something like that. So even if I was just to link that as a straight export zone for the billboard... To be honest, I could even link it up to other stuff so that it'll all... Work out. Uh, yep. And yep. Okay, so... Theory is, is that the inputs are going to initially be stored on this shelf and in this storage area. I don't want... I don't want everything to be moved over here, though. That's not ideal. Although I suppose it's not actually too much of a problem at the moment. No storage space available for wooden boards? Uh, that, that is a problem. That is a problem. See, I don't want to get too creative and too funky with this, uh, with this layout. Because, I mean, things can go south real quick. Okay, there we go. That'll be, that'll be enough storage space for, uh, for wooden boards. All right, grad. The market has just refreshed. That's great. We're making fantastic progress on this uh, Swikea set of drawers, which is wonderful. I do want to get a bunch of stuff produced. Let's have a little look into the future and see what the situation is in the market. I mean, tables. Tables are always a safe bet. I have no idea why, but they, they really are. Uh, catapults. Catapults are on the up and up, especially over here. In fact, I think that we should straight up think about making some catapults. I'm not going to make the catapults until I've cleared the Swikea order. So that's kind of nice. Uh, just, you know, it means that we can have a little bit more space to make everything work right. Let's get that over there. Let's get this tightened up a little bit. Uh, so what I'm looking to do is... Can I modify the end? Nope. Can I modify the corner here? There we go. Alright, bring that in. And bring that up like so. Okay, let's see if this works. Let's see if this works right here. Tighten that up. So now we've got some proper storage shelf. Uh, this zone, I think, I'm just gonna delete. Yep. And then this needs to be linked with absolutely everything, with the exception of these two machines right here. So this zone can store resources that need to be pumped into there, and there, and there, and there? Will that actually, will that actually work? 
Also the billboard, just in case. Okay, so this is going to be a sort of more generalized storage area. As we expand the workshop, which I'm very, very confident we're going to have to do in uh, in this episode, no storage space available for the wooden board. Um, ah, I see what the problem is. We need to link that with the assembly, uh, with the assembly desk as well. Perfect. Wooden rods. Uh, I think that we should have absolutely everything linked now. Yeah. Zone needs to be linked with workstations. I mean, ideally I could link multiple storages together. Okay, you know what? Let's, uh... Let's forgo, let's forgo this, this zone at the moment. But I think that that's what we kind of want to do, right? We want to basically have one gnome standing at every workstation, right? So we want to have one gnome at the lathe constantly. And we want to have one gnome at the circular saw constantly. And then we want to have the haulers doing all of the hauling around. That's the plan anyway. Okay, so I want to expand. I don't think I really feel comfortable making that happen right now. Uh-oh. Your workers have found mold in your factory. Get rid of it before it starts to spread. Uh, where the heck is the mold? How do I how do I find it? Sure. Get get me an anti-mold machine. What does this do? Can I do I have to target this? Dispenses a compound that effectively that if effectively disposes of anything organic mold. Hold your breath. Gas mask while- or use a gas mask whilst operating. Uh-oh. Okay, I see what the problem is. I've- I've misplaced the mold machine. Mold machine needs to go into the corner. I found the mold. That doesn't look like mold. That looks like pink spore of death and doom. But apparently... Apparently that's- that's what mold is. Alright, let's get that mold thing shipped away. Cool. You know what I'm thinking? You know what I'm totally thinking? I'm thinking that we've got this in the wrong in the wrong space. I actually want to... I want to get this assembly desk moved up to the middle here. Yeah, you know what? I'm actually going to move things around a little bit because at the moment, nothing is functioning in a way which makes me happy. Nothing makes me happy, in fact. Right, get rid of the palm tree. I'm, I'm getting rid of some decorations. I want to get some higher tier decorations. I know it's going to decrease the mood in this room. I know it's going to make it a very, very depressing place to work. I, I appreciate that. But I would like to... I'd like to see if I can fix it. Okay, can I move the doorway over a little bit here? Demolish that doorway? I do actually want to demolish that doorway. Yeah, get rid of that doorway there, right? Okay, move the assembly station right over there. Perfect. Let's get these guys moved. So move some plants around. There we go. And I'm going to actually move this storage section. Going to move that up there. Going to move the shelf into that orientation. Yep. I'm going to move the lathe up to up to here. And I'm going to move that circular saw. Oh, it's not going to be enough space, is it? Uh, I'm going to need a little bit more space. That's unbelievably irritating. Okay, cancel the construction of this lathe. And let's also set up the removal of this flower box. Move it over there, sure. That palm tree. Palm tree, you're getting sold, I'm afraid. We've now got better sort of higher level decorations anyway. So we don't really need to worry about... About palm trees too much. Okay, I'm gonna... Get this... Hold on. Get this moved. Get the table moved out here... For now. And get the zone rezoned. I've had an idea. I've had a wonderful idea. Right. I think that zone will be large enough. And once the table's been moved, also when am I when am I going to be when am I going to be fixed for uh, for small drawers? Right, get the table moved out this way. Nice. All right, and then tighten the zone up a little bit. Perfect. All right, absolutely grand. Let's move the table saw right over here. Or the circular saw, even, should I say. Alright, perfect. So, 
This storage area, storage zone right over here is going to supply these two machines. And I'm hoping that we're going to be able to get a bunch more specialized machines, specialized uh, circular saws. Uh, and this is sort of a generalized storage area at the moment. Uh, that's going to need to change, I'm sure. But that's fine, at least for now. Uh, this paint station, paint station, I'm going to move into the metal workshop. I'm going to move the scrap container as well. I'm going to move that round to the loading bay, at least for a bit. And then we're going to remodel the house and we're going to get a door right over here. There we go. All right. It's as simple as that. It's simple mathematics and that seems to work. All right. Grand. Let's just get everything absolutely perfectly assembled and then it'll be like we're starting from scratch. There we go. Get that ordered. Yeah, so it'll be like we're starting from scratch after this Swikea order has been collected. We need to get another assembly station as well, actually. Okay, so this is the wood workshop. It's not perfect, but we're getting there. It's getting into a it's getting into a place where I'm reasonably happy with it. Uh, water cooler. Yeah, I mean, I like the idea of a water cooler, but I think I prefer the idea of a flower box. In fact, no, you know what? I think I actually prefer... I think I actually prefer a flower box. A flower box is just better in terms of in terms of the mood. Although it looks like you don't get you don't get the entire 40 mood for a second flower box. You only get a bit of it. So let's get a water cooler, shall we? Uh where would the best location to put the water cooler be? Can't even put it over there. Mm. Sure, I'll stick it over here for now. That's grand. Once we get that in place, it should just mean that uh, that our that our mood won't be too much of a problem in that room. All right, grand. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Let's get one more drawer made. It's literally a simple case of assembly, and then let's think about making some good old good old free market products. All right, fantastic. Let's get all of this stuff shipped away. Let's also take a little look at the R&D tree, see if there's anything that we actually want to get. Nothing at the moment. I mean, I think I want to try and maybe get eco-friendly materials, since it's the only thing on tier 1 that I haven't unlocked as of yet. Uh, but there's no real rush. Okay, that piece of wood was scrapped. That's totally fine. All right, let's go and see what we want to make. I mean, catapults, as I've already highlighted, are fantastic. They've been really good to us. And I actually think that we'll be able to identify some uh, some flaws in the system here. Okay, I mean, a gluing workstation, right? A gluing workstation, absolutely, I think, is something that we need to get. I don't think that that's in specialized machinery, because I think that there is a bespoke gluing station. Yeah, that's right. There's a bespoke gluing station right over here. Uh, do I want to buy it and stick it in the, stick it in the woodworking room? I sure as heck do. 3,100 gold. Let's go and do that. Okay. So now we're going to be really, really, really hypercharging all of our gluing. Bending can still be done on the assembly stations. That can be done on the bandsaw. That can be done on the bandsaw. That can be done on the lathe, I believe. Yeah, so any circular cuts... Is that what it, is that what it's called? Is it a, is it a circular cut? Simple lathe? Yeah, I know it's used on a simple lathe, but okay, whatever. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's a circular cut. A milling machine? Do we have enough money for a milling machine? I'm not sure if I really want to get a milling machine. All right, and then the rest of this stuff is done on bandsaws. Assembly, assembly. Perfect. Gluing stations. Just making absolutely certain that this is all that this is all going to work properly. Right. Okay. I mean, how many do we want to make? How many can I afford to make? Ten? And batch it? That's right. Let's batch it. Okay. I'm quite conscious of the fact that when I said let's uh let's batch it, it doesn't actually sound like let's batch hyphen IT. It sounds like another word, which of course I absolutely did not mean to say. Uh, but let's, let's think about R&D. What do we want to do? Assembly specialist? Oh, yes, this would be perfect. I absolutely want an assembly specialist. Give me an, an assembly specialist, please. Sophie, can you be trained up to be an assembly specialist? Yes, please. 
And let's get you to be an assembly specialist as well. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. This is good. Fantastic. Thank you very much, Swikea. That was great. Super delighted in that. I'm glad that it worked. Uh, I'm glad that it worked out all right. Oh, look at these shelves. These shelves are absolutely beasting. This is fantastic. Yeah, you see, they need to go and run off to somewhere else. I mean, is the they need to they need to take the resources from here to here, and then they have to run all the way over to this area. I just wonder, is there any sort of upgrade that I can get to my zones, which would allow me to perhaps improve that somewhat? Internship program? No, I'm looking for something zone related. Yeah, I mean, it would be nice if I could have like a little zone that would allowed me to fed into or feed into other zones. Yeah, I think there is a way to do this, but... Uh... I'm just not sure what it is. Yeah. Workstation cannot be disassembled. No, I'm not bothered about that. Alright. Just get that all up and running. That's cool. Ah, see, this is actually working. This is working a heck of a lot better than I originally planned. Look at that. So now, now the walking distance for these chaps is, is far, far, far reduced. That's real good. Okay, I think I can actually move this around just a little bit. There we go. So if I put it there like so, then that should mean that they just have to stick it on the floor, right? Apparently not. Alright, let me retry that. You know, once we can nail this, it'll work perfectly. And you know what? That is actually in itself pretty darn good. Look at that. Look at the distance that this guy has to walk now. Oh, that is incredible. Okay, that is really, really good. That is really, really good. I think that we're going to be uh, be smashing through these catapults, actually. I mean, we haven't sort of hit the, the, the terminal velocity that I'd like to hit quite yet. What is this? Storage space available for the catapult frame? Um, there should be. Can we expand this zone a little bit more? There shouldn't be that much storage space not available for the for the catapult. There should there should definitely be enough space available for the catapult. Right, move these plants around a little bit. Yeah, that looks to be totally perfect. Catapult should be able to be moved into storage over here. Grand. It's just because the it's just because the shelves take up just that little bit more floor space than you kind of expect them to. I mean, their floor space doesn't extend just around the base of the shelf. It extends up to, like, here as well. Which, I mean, is fine. It's a price that, we're, that we have to pay in order to get access to the shelves. So, it is what it is. It's totally fine. I mean, this ends up working. This ends up working out really, really well. I'm unbelievably happy with this. Yeah, this is really, really good. I mean, what can I say? I'm super, super happy. No storage space available for a wooden plank. Uh, also, it looks like we need to increase our break room. Our break room definitely needs a bit of a bump. Should we put another coffee machine in here? Yeah, alright. Let's get another coffee machine in here. 1,500 bucks. It's a big expense, but it'll be worth it. It'll increase our break room capacity, which is exactly what I want to do. Should mean that we've got more than enough capacity to deal with absolutely everyone in the factory. Alright, I mean, this is feeling good. This is feeling really, really strong. It's feeling grand. Uh, I think... Okay, so they don't, they don't export to areas that they're standing on, it seems. So what I will do is I will... I'm going to leave the lathe and the circular saw just like this for now. But what I could do in the future is maybe think about moving them over a little bit. But for now, what I'll do is I'll just stick down a zone. Right? A zone right over here. And if I can see that zone, it would make it a heck of a lot easier. Put a zone in right over there. And this can be the export zone for the lathe. And it can just be a general yellow area. So that's the plan anyway. I guess we'll see if we need to do it. It works. It works perfectly. That is absolutely grand. 
I cannot fault that. It works perfectly. Uh, also, the mood is still negative in this room, presumably because I added a, a glue station, so I'm going to need to improve the decorations somewhat. A standing fan? Sure. I mean, if I was to place another water cooler, yeah, I would only get 15 mood from it, so that's the incentive to place a bunch of different types of decorations for your, uh, for your, for your floor, your shop floor workers. All right, I, I don't, I don't have any issues doing that. That's not a problem whatsoever. Let's get that repaired. That's repaired. Let's get that repaired as well. Cool. Keep up the good work, everyone. And with these catapults, I mean, we are going to be so financially secure, it's gonna hurt. That's right. It's gonna hurt. We're gonna be so... We're gonna be so well off. It's gonna be so ideal. Right, what is it that we need to do? Is it just all of the... All of the rotting that needs to happen here? Is that literally it? Is that all that needs to be done in order to make all of these catapults? I think it might be. Also, uh, I've just realized, but we do have the option to make a shovel for Crazy Steve Enterprises. I think that we can do this. I also think that it gives us a good excuse to uh, explore metalwork a lot, which is a, uh, you know, which is a bunch of, um, which is a bunch of stuff that I haven't really explored thus far. Small forge, small forge, shovel tip, and that's assembly. I mean, we already have 100% efficiency for absolutely everything here anyway, so... Yeah, happy days. Let's just, um, let's just execute on that. The problem is, is that we have an assembly station in here, and we have the workshop in that area. That's not a problem. Ah, everything gets stored right over there. Okay, that's not, that's not ideal. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set up a, set up a storage zone here, which will input to that workstation right over there. And then we will have, similarly, we will have an export zone, or, well, not really an export zone, because that's technically an export zone. We will have a general storage zone right over there. Which will allow someone who's forging in the forge to immediately just put whatever they've produced down into that storage space right over there. It's perfect. And this way, everyone should be doing everything. There's five idle workstations, but that's not too much of a problem. There's a couple of idle haulers, but again, I think that we can just about deal with uh, having a few idle haulers. Anyway, how are we doing in the rankings? Where, where are we at the moment? We're at, we're at 19. I mean, we were up at for like 4,000 revenue for a little bit. I don't think that that was going to last forever. I never thought that it was going to last forever. But I'm pretty happy how it, uh, how it worked out in the end. We don't have enough space for a catapult storage. Also, why the heck is none of this happening? This is, this is not happening uh, as, as quickly as it needs to be. Okay, let's prioritize the shovel. The shovel needs to be done, please. Also, we need to we need to have more space for these catapults. Uh, yeah, this is kind of a bit of a joke, actually. Right, let's get these big fruit things moved across. I don't know, Venus flytrap things. That can go over there. This storage thing can be moved out this way. Grand, can I get another? Can I get another shelf, please? Large shelf. Yes. That's what I'm after. And let's move the workstation out just over by one. Perfect. There's so much stuff going on right now that I can't really see what's happening. Anyway, hopefully the metal the metal working is gonna happen fast enough to make everything work at just the right pace. Okay, uh, we can't order the shelf at the moment because we don't have enough we don't have enough space to stick it in. That's fine. Right. Assembly. Assembly is all of the shovels. Yeah. I think that I think that this will be fine. You know, I think that this will be totally fine. Yeah. I actually think that we'll be able to recover this this entire sort of red chunk right over here. Yeah. I don't think that that'll be too much of a problem. The issue is, is that the the run to the assembly room or to the assembly desk takes such a long time. Also, this is really irritating. We're, we're taking up so much floor space with um, with catapults. I have a funny feeling. I have a funny feeling that I know how we're going to fix this. 
The way that we're going to fix this is by having a dedicated storage area, a massive storage area, which is just sort of like assembly storage area. So at the moment, what we've got is we've got this one single storage area feeding into absolutely every machine possible. But what I think we need to do, and what I think we are going to do, is we're going to take this, take the size of this storage area down, and we're going to make a much larger storage area, which just supplies to the one assembly machine, or to the one billboard, which will supply to both assembly machines. Something like that, you know? Anyway, as suspected, Crazy Steve is going to be totally fine. We're, we're not going to miss the shipment to Crazy Steve, which is very, very important. Alright, how are we still cutting wood? We're almost done. We're almost done with the wood cutting, which is great. It means that we can actually finally assemble some of these catapults and get them out of my hair. Okay. Why is this not working? We just... its Oh, it's literally just assembly. It's literally just the assembly of... Uh, of the shovels that needs to be done. Oh, come on. Crazy Steve! Crazy Steve's gonna be so disappointed! Hmm. We need to get an assembly machine through here. That is clear. I think we might just be alright, though. No, we're not gonna be alright. How is this- how is this not okay? How is this not okay? This is not good! This is not good! Crazy Steve is gonna be disappointed in me. Right, I need to get an assembly station. I need to get my workshop increased in size. It's- it's no longer- find that it's just too small. Oh no, Crazy Steve, come on guys, get the... get things assembled. Oh no, I asked, expect a better for you. I guess I'll pay you for the ones I got though, payment received. <gasps> no, Crazy Steve, Crazy Steve, oh no, that's bad, that's real bad. Crazy Steve isn't gonna like me. Oh, that's really, uh, that's really irritating. That's really irritating. Well, at least we can sell the stuff on the market. Uh, okay, I mean, I think that we've got multiple problems here. I mean, mood is bad in this room. Mood is fine in this room. I think we're fine in the in the break room at the moment, though. So, I mean, that's okay. We need to get rid of some of these flipping catapults. They're taking up a bunch of space. Uh, and I'm fed up with it. Fed up with dealing with stupid catapults. They They are ridiculous. Why don't I try to make a large set of drawers next? That's maybe a better idea. Uh-oh. A pack of smelly but cute rodents are on the... Are on the hunt. They're on the hunt for food and, most importantly, cheese. Right, let's get the rodent killing machine. Oh, multi-kill. Kind of. That was definitely a multi-kill. Hold on. Sorry. The yard in front of your factory looks like a dump. Have a bit of self-respect and decorate it, would you? I don't appreciate... I don't appreciate that tone. Oh, that was a that was a no scope. I get three thousand five hundred gold for killing the rats in my own factory. Uh, that sounds like a deal. All right. Well, finally, at long last, we're going to be able to get all of the bits of the catapult fixed up. Uh, what's the price of shovels? Oh, the price of shovels. Utter garbage. Utter garbage. Okay, tall drawers. Tall drawers is going to be what I make. Except, I could make a trample car. I mean, I did talk about the foam injection process. Um, that would certainly be quite cool. Uh, why don't we do what the Count asks, actually? Ooh! Small drawers for, uh, for Swikea? I mean, anything that is... Anything that is wooden, I think I can actually boss. Right, let's get that on the glue station. Yep. I mean, any gluing now can be done way faster. We're not... We're not... Perfect in terms of uh, factory organization, but we're getting there. Certainly in terms of wood. In terms of wood, I'm completely happy with where we are. And you know what? I am actually still going to prioritize uh, catapult construction. Because I am sick to the back teeth of having so many catapults in my, uh, in my factory. Right. At least we can get all of the raw resources fixed up first. And all of the raw resources turned into, I don't know... Dowels and planks and all of that nonsense. Yeah, but if we get catapults done, then that will at least make me feel slightly better about everything. Right, sell off some catapults, 8,600. That's the price that I'm after. 
I maybe shouldn't have sold three catapults on account of the fact that the price will be going up in uh, in a couple of days. Can I even get, like, I can't get a zone outside. That's so irritating. I really, that really grinds my gears. Okay, let's look at getting some decorations just outside. I mean, does that even, that doesn't even, that doesn't even do anything for my workers. They don't even care about that. Okay, I mean, that's irritating. That is very, very irritating. I need to get, I need to get an area which works around the loading dock. And by that, I mean, I need to get, like, a loading area inside uh, inside here, or inside, inside the factory so that I can put down a zone, but close enough to the loading dock that it can be, that it, that, that products can be moved right into, right into the lorry relatively smoothly. Okay, let's move the scrap, let's move the scrap yard around a little bit. Let me see if I can get a construction tool here, and let me see if I can get a zone. I mean, how much is that going to cost? 4,000, 4,120. Honestly, that's great. Let's do this. And the reason that I'm going to do this is that it's going to be fairly, fairly simple to do. Okay, cancel that right there. And instead, do that right there. Perfect. That's exactly what I'm looking for. And we're going to get a, we're going to get a door right over here. Except that that's not going to work. So I'm going to need to move it back yet again. Oh, goodness me. Cancel that. It's a bright morning. Right. Okay. Finally. Great. Happy. Okay. I can move it forward by one single more plot. Okay. That is the final... That is the final size of the outhouse. This is going to be the storage room. Perfect. Great, let's get that in there. Let's get this ordered, 3,500. I mean, it's going to be pretty darn important to get this done as quickly as we possibly can. This is going to be our uh, export storage area. Let's get some stuff repaired. All right, catapults are looking fine, though. The builders have just arrived. Let's get this, let's get this building put up as quickly as possible. There we go. Come on, fix the wall. Two bits of wall left. Oh my goodness. What stuff needs to be done for the small drawers? Uh, no, not here. Yeah, I'm just waiting for stuff to be... I'm waiting for the catapults to be done first. Yeah, because that's, that's prioritized as the highest priority thing to do at this moment in time, which I think is okay. I think that's, I think that's still fine. Okay. Nice, good stuff. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to move this zone right over here, and this is going to be our very, very large export zone, and that is in itself going to free up a whole bunch of space. I mean, that is just good. It's just real good. In fact, you know what I could do? You know what I could do which would be really, really cheeky? Do you know what I could do, which would be so unbelievably cheeky? I could do what I kind of originally planned to do. Oh no, you fell and the chair fell too. Okay, hold on. This is, I did this last time, didn't I? I did this last time somehow. Okay, yeah, schedule that for deconstruction. Schedule this for construction. And that doesn't, how, how did I do this last time? This was ridiculously complex, if I can recall. There we go, that actually works. Okay, good. So let's get that done. Let's order another 3,200 section of land. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set up multiple assembly machines over here. It's gonna be in addition to the assembly machines over here. However, final assembly is gonna be carried out over here. Any sort of intermittent assembly, so for example, uh, assembly of the catapult frame, is going to be carried out here, but assembly of the full catapult machine is going to be carried out right over here. That's the plan anyway. I guess we'll see. I guess we'll see if it works. Right. I'm a little bit concerned that perhaps we're not getting enough catapults constructed. Yeah, although actually, I mean, there's not much more stuff to be done at this point. There's a couple more catapult wheels, and that's about it. All right, we should have enough money for an assembly machine or two. Should be totally fine. 
All right, nice. Okay, looking good, looking good, looking good, looking good. Now, let's get a import zone over here. Uh, what I'm going to do, actually, is shrink the size of this export zone briefly. I mean, it's already very, very big at this stage anyway. And then I'm going to pull this out here, this out there, and we're going to have a massive, a massive, very specific storage area for a very specific number of work machines. And the assembly station is, is what I'm after. Okay. I'm not going to order it quite yet. In fact, yes, I am. What am I talking about? I'm going to just do it. Okay. Also, is this... Is this the best time to sell a catapult on the open market? No, it's not. Next, next month is going to be the best time to sell a, a, a catapult on the open market. I mean, this looks bad, but I'm I'm positive. I'm a remarkably positive guy. Trust me, it's going to be totally fine. Finances look a little bit dodgy at the moment. That's okay. I mean, we we're going to have like ten thousand ten thousand bucks from selling off the catapults anyway. Yeah, it's going to be totally fine. Okay, there's three more catapults to assemble, and I think that we've got literally all of the components that we could possibly need in order to make the catapults. Now we can start making the small drawers, and that should be totally fine. Grand. Uh, the order of operations for selling the drawers, or for manufacturing the drawers... See here, can I... Oh yeah, it's already, it's already set up perfectly, so we're going to manufacture ten... 10 drawer box smalls, then 5 small drawers. Oh yeah, okay, that's fine. That's what I was gonna, that's what I was gonna ensure. I was just gonna check to make sure that that was indeed the case. Alright, final catapult. Let's get all the bits and bobs put together. And there we go. That is easy peasy lemon squeezy. Now we should be full tilt towards achieving maximal, maximal small drawer production. And the market has just changed. 3,200 for selling catapults. Don't mind if I do. I mean, the price is going to increase further. Do I want to... Do I want to hold on? Do I want to hold on to the hope that we're going to... We're going to get past 3,200? No. I want to just... I want to get... I want to cash 23,000 uh, gnome bucks right now. Yes, please. Absolutely. Give that money to me. That is great. And in fact, I'm down at 21. All right. I've lost... I've lost my pizzazz, although very shortly, I think I'm going to increase dramatically my pizzazz. Let's see where I go. So I'm going to go from rank 21 all the way up to what? Oh, yes. Rank 21. I, it might refresh on the hour or at the, at the next market uh, point. Uh, the next market refresh. Anyway, let's also get another assembly machine over here, another assembly station. Yep. I'd like to get this expanded ever so slightly. And I would like to link directly to that workstation and also that workstation. Once I can manage to do that. Uh, great. In fact, no. Hold up. I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that at all. Pause. Hold the phone. What I want to do is I want to get a billboard. I want to get a billboard in this here storage area. There we go. And I want to link this to that billboard. I don't want to link to the assembly stations. I want to link to the billboard. And I want the billboard to link to the assembly stations, right? So all of the assembling is going to be split over these two assembly things. Yeah, th these two assembly stations. Okay, I'm very, very happy with that. That's looking very, very good. All right, this is actually starting to feel like a proper factory. And now that we've done that, I think I can actually take the size of this storage area back a little bit again. There we go. I can take it back down to size. Glue station. Move the glue station back up against the wall. Perfect. How are we doing mood-wise in every room? Mood minus 35, mood 16, mood minus 18, and the break room, obviously. Okay, I mean, the mood can and should be better. So let's get the appropriate decoration. Uh, what am I, what am I, what am I doing? Flower boxes? Yeah, let's get a flower box. I'll stick that in the export zone. And that will sort that room right out. And let's get another flower box right over... Right over there in the corner. Why not? Sure. Get it ordered. Get it done. Okay. The whole point of splitting the uh, the rooms up, I guess, is so that you can 
manage your mood more effectively. So as long as we have positive mood in each and every in each and every room. Yeah, so large the fact that it's a large room means that we have minus 25 mood. And there's not necessarily a reason that it needs to be as large a room as it actually is. I guess I just like large rooms. Is that so bad? I don't know. I feel that I'm being penalized because I like large rooms, but whatever. I'm not going to complain too much. Alright, this circular saw is doing fantastic work. In fact, it's doing such fantastic work that I think we're going to get another one. I did talk at the very start of the episode about how this is exactly what we were going to do. And it is now exactly what I'm going to do. Let's get a circular saw. Let's get it placed down. Oh no! You slipped. Okay, and you know what? In fact, leave it there. Leave that there. Move the standing fan. Move the standing fan over there. Sure. And then get a brand new circle saw right over here. Yep, and you know what? Means that we can expand this storage zone just a little bit. Let's get it ordered. We're also going to need to get a billboard as well. Uh, that billboard can just go... Oh, goodness me. I guess there for now, although that is almost certain to change. I think we might need to split this room up at some point. Because at some point, we're just not going to be able to manage the mood. I mean, the mood is is still positive. I don't know. Does the billboard give negative mood? I don't actually know. I guess we'll see in just a second. Uh, what's the mood situation in here? Uh, no, it doesn't look like the billboard gives negative mood. That's fantastic. Okay, let's get the billboard to link up the circular saws. Fantastic. And let's link to there. Okay, so now we link to the lathe directly and to the billboard directly, but to the circular saws indirectly. All right. I mean, it's not perfect, because it still means that there's going to have to be some walking that is done. So between this area and this circular saw? Uh, yeah. Not ideal. Not ideal. I think that I can fix that, though. I think that I can fix that. Give me a second. Right. I kind of don't want to mess it up right now when things are going so well with everything. Also, we're only going to continue to use this circular saw at the moment for uh, all of the stuff that was that was ordered with the small drawer. Uh, because that was all set up in the plan, I don't really want to change anything at the moment. I'm quite happy just to let that sort of roll. Right. All right. So let's let that go. It looks like we're going to be we're going to be totally fine uh, for the small drawers. And once we get to the end of the small drawer production, we can think about sort of implementing a bunch of stuff which I've already got in place but haven't started using. For example, the brand new billboard. For example, the uh, sort of last last stage assembly process over there. That's going to happen, which is nice. I'm pretty sure that we're just ready for assembly, actually. In fact, you know what? I could actually straight up just move this right now over to here. And move that right now over to there. And move that right now over to there. Yeah. All right, so let's do that. So the small drawers are still going to be assembled over here. But it means that we'll move all of the parts out to where they need to be. Now, this is where the advantage of haulers comes in. Oh, look at this. This is working great. This is fantastic. Nice. And that's going to be more money and better relations with... Uh, who is this? Swikea? Yeah, this is Swikea again. All right, so as you see, the small drawers still being made in, uh, in this room, but that's not a problem. That will change. This will be the last time that we make uh, sort of... A, well, I guess a small drawer is sort of like an intermediate stage. I guess so. So I guess, I mean, we could honestly make the small drawers over here as well as the final, final large small drawer. Does that make sense? Like little big workshop, little small drawer, big small drawer. I don't really know what's going on. I don't really know what I'm saying. Uh, let's 
Let's get that repaired. Cool. All right. But I mean, yeah, we're, we're absolutely cruising now. We're absolutely cruising. No issues whatsoever. Everything, everything looks perfect. Is gluing, is gluing what we're waiting for? I think the, I think the gluing is actually what we're waiting for. Yeah, all right. Well, uh, whatever. I mean, we're going to be totally fine. Uh, let's just get the client job done and dusted. I'm always very nervous about client jobs, you know. I, I want to try and... I want to try and make sure that in the future we prioritize the client jobs a lot more, maybe, than I've been prioritizing them in the past. And that's why I sort of like to clear the decks after each and every one. Gives us a, a nice fresh slate with which to work. Okay. Good. So we've got a woodworking workshop. We're almost to the point where we've got every bit of specialized equipment. Uh, even, even have two bits of the two bits of specialized equipment. Two bits of the same specialized equipment, I should say. The circular saw. Uh, it's looking good. It's not perfect, but we're getting there. We are getting there. Can I link? I can't link to. Hold on. Break it off with a billboard, would you? Can I link to there? No, I need to link to the billboard. So, okay, so that's kind of interesting. So, if a, uh, if a, if a storage zone, or if a billboard is linked to two, uh, to two circular saws or two assembly benches, it looks like you can only link the zone to the billboard, which is a shame, actually, because what I would like to do is I'd like to have two separate storage zones, and one of them, what this storage zone specifically, to be linked to this circular saw, and this lathe, and then another storage zone over here, and that to be linked to this circular saw, if that makes sense. As it stands, it's not a massive problem. It just means that we need to move this around. Yeah. So what I will do is I will have a, yeah, two circular saws right in the corner over here. Yep, working just like the lathe did, and then this is going to go right over there. Perfect. There we go. Turn that around. And we're going to zone another zone right over here. That's right. It's going to be linked directly to the lathe. Perfect. So this is going to be linked directly to the billboards, and then linked to both of the circular saws. This is going to be linked directly to the lathe. I think that we're going to need to get a shelf here, uh, so I will plan accordingly. Uh, yeah, we'll just... Can I not... Can I not put it directly next to... Directly next to that? Apparently not. Alright, there we go. Can I bring that in by one? Sure. Alright, not sure why I can't get them to sit exactly next to each other. That's just a weird thing. Anyway, where am I... Where am I in the rankings? 21. I was 21. Oh my goodness, I'm all the way back up to 11. That's what catapults do to you. They fling you over the competition. No, they don't They don't actually do that. Okay, uh, but this this all works fine. That's linked up to the lathe. The lathe can just output to this uh, to this storage zone right over here as well. I mean, this is this is looking and feeling very, very smooth. I'm actually remarkably happy with this. Yeah, this is this is real good. Uh oh, brain slugs. We're infected with brain slugs again. This is a bit of a problem. Keep an eye out. I'm keeping an eye out on everyone. You've got the brain juice. Oh, I think it's you. It's you. Oh no, there's someone else with brain slugs. It must be you, right? It. I. I knew it. I. As soon as I. As soon as I saw you carrying a bit of brain juice, I thought, who is who is the most likely person to be carrying a little bit of brain slug juice? It's the person that is ashamed of having a brain slug. That's right. It was it was you. I don't even know what your name is, but you were the culprit. All right, so let's get everything absolutely absolutely assembled. And then maybe we hire up to our to our cap. I mean, we've only got two more people to recruit. But that would certainly be uh, be quite good. Also, I want to get some injection molding stuff done. Uh, Swikea? Oh, hold up. This is- is this gonna be the count again? <laughs> Factory is so small and cute, I feel like I could just pick it up and name it Fluffy. Let me know if you actually plan to ever grow your crib. I mean, I do want to grow my crib. Can I- 
Oh, you're not even a client. How how can I how can can I call him back? What's his number? Six six six. Maybe can we get somebody to climb up on the phone and give it a give it a crack? Uh, I could, by the way, I could take on another client job. Uh, it would be. It would be similar. I don't actually think I want to do that right now. I think I want to try and I think I want to try and give myself an excuse to make some trample cars. Yeah, something that requires a serious amount of of new tech. Yeah, I think that that's what I'm after. In fact, I think I'm after this exact trample car right here. Yeah, this one. So it's got the durability attributes. They're quite high durability attributes, uh, but the price of this car is due to increase dramatically. All right, let's plan it out. Let's plan it out and see exactly what we need. Okay, so we need to get metal. Fine. Gives us a good excuse to work on our metal uh, forging room. And that's kind of what it is at the moment. Uh, plastic. That's injection molding. Uh, we do have the machine available for that. That's cool. All right, I actually think that this is totally, totally doable. Let me just make sure that I've got the ability to make it all happen. Okay, that's going to make us fall past the point of the needed durability, right? Mm, that's not quite good enough. We need to increase our durability just a bit. Can I get a better type of metal? That seems pretty darn perfect. I mean, it is a slightly more expensive material, but that's fine. That's totally fine. Uh, okay, so we need to get... We need to get that. Uh, well, in fact, you know what? Before we do this, why don't I think about moving everything into sort of a plastic, a plastic manufacturing room? I've kind of, I've kind of set myself up with a metal working room and, I guess, a painting room. But what about if we were to zone a plastic, a plastic manufacturing room out over here? And the good news is, is that we don't actually need to do any fancy bulldozing of walls. We can just straight up build an extra room. That's right. Literally just as simple as that. And... Yeah, we'll put that over there. Let's get this moved over there. This moved over to here. Grand. And then this moved over to here. No. Nope. Ah, there we go. All right, that'll do. That'll do totally fine. Okay, so let's get that all ordered. It's going to cost us uh, a pretty penny, but it'll be totally worth it. And then this is where we're going to stick the plastic room. Grand. Means that we should be fine for mood as well. We get a few a few delicacies. That's not really a word that we should be that we should be that we should be using in this specific instance, but that's okay. A few niceties. That's that's maybe more more the correct word. Okay. Let's get the room done as quickly as possible. I wish I could hire more builders to get it done faster, but ah, what can you do? Uh, let's get the injection. I think this is called an injection press, is it? It is an injection press. He's got it. Uh, let's get the injection press over there. Let's get the injection, the foam injection machine over there. That's going to cost 4,900. That's cool. Uh, we're going to set up a supply system over here as well. So I'm going to get a zone. A zone right here. Which is going to have a large shelf in it. There we go. Let's get that ordered. Wonderful. And I think that that's all that we really need at this stage. Oh no, we do need a decorative object. Oh, no, we've just we've just gone under the, the point of having the money to order that. Okay, fine. Uh, let's be gone with this Swikea order, and then let's chat. Right. Linked up, linked to workstations, cool. We want that workstation there, that workstation there. And the good news is, I guess the good news, partly, is that you can only have one storage area linked to one machine, which means as soon as I set this storage area to supply to the injection press it cancels that supply which is which is kind of good 
Uh, okay, swipe gear order. We're just waiting for the final few bits and bobs to be assembled. I think it's just one, one or two more small tray that, uh, trays that we're uh, we're waiting for. There we go. That's thirteen, and then fourteen. It's just coming. It's being delivered right now. There we go. Fantastic. Make it so. Grand. Let's get that delivered. Absolutely everything, please. Perfect. Right, wonderful. Great. So that uh, takes us, I mean, totally up into positive territory. Swikea. Swikea absolutely freaking love me. I am the number one supplier. Crazy Steve, not so hot on me, but Swikea, they, they are falling head over heels for my little factory. And it's wonderful. Okay, plant pod is being delivered. That's really, really cool. Let's get this trample car right over here. All right, great. Now let's chat about the way in which we want everything to work. So, of course, we're going to have all of the metal processing linked to the metal processing machine, all of the foam injection to the foam injection machine. This is not the difficult stuff. I mean, the the stuff that is the stuff that just sort of has a single the stuff that has a single workstation is is fine. Okay, I've just realized that the painting, the painting area that uh, the the painting supply pile is over here. I think that I can change that, and I think that I probably should change that. Okay, let's see if this works. Right, get that moved, and get that linked to that specific workstation. Okay, that I think makes it better. Okay, so that's all that's all fine. Uh, that painting supply station linked from there, so it's relatively easy, relatively easy to get stuff moved across. Okay, I mean, do we want to just do... Usually I would say final assembly is done across in the building up at the top, which is, I'm imagining, is like here on the map, and then sort of regular intermediate assembly is done in the woodworking area. However, Given that none of the assembly is remotely connected to woodwork, I actually think that we can just do all our final assembly in the assembly building. Yeah, I think that that'll be totally fine. Uh, let's try and make 30 of these. How much is that gonna... How much is that gonna give me? Uh, hold up. No, the, the market is... The market is gonna increase. Yep, so the market is gonna increase. Let's go for 30. I mean, this is going to be our biggest bumper payment yet. And remarkably, this process isn't actually that complicated. I mean, it's complicated in as much of the sense of it's... I mean, it's a complicated process. But it's not a complicated process because it's... I mean, it's there's just not that many steps. There's more steps, I think, involved in creating, creating drawers. Anyway, let's make sure that everyone is happy. Mood 14, mood 5, mood 22. All right, great. Everyone, everyone is happy. Uh, this is a bit of a, a bit of a miserable area, actually. I tell you what we could do. Rather than having this storage zone here, why don't we just ditch that storage zone and instead use this storage zone to supply the small forge as well? And that will allow us to sort of expand things down here. Nice. And then that little thing will get moved out over here. Sure. A few bits and bobs. A few bits and bobs moved around. Should be fine. Yeah, look at this. Okay, so the distance that is traveled is like hardly anything, actually. Yeah, this is feeling this is feeling actually really, really quite good. Yeah, I'm pretty happy about this. This storage area might not be might not be large enough. Uh, but it should be. Okay. Who just chucked? Who chucked all of this nonsense? And is it because we don't have enough storage space? I think it is. Although, no, it shouldn't be. We should have more than enough storage space. Oh, it's we don't have enough storage space on these shelves? Is that it? I think that that might be it. Alright. Well, that is what it is. Uh, let me put down a storage space right over there. Yep, I forgot to put an output area for the plastic foam, uh, the plastic and the foam injection machine. Oh, look at that little bubble. That's real cool. Anyway, now that we've got a little output pile here, we should be working on pretty much maximum efficiency. 
which makes me very, very happy indeed. Also, get a reputation rank of at least three with one client. Mission accomplished. That is fantastic. Uh, deliver more than 50 medium products as soon as we finish up with the trample car. We'll have done that. Have a net worth at le of at least 150,000 bucks. I mean, that is... That is going to be a problem. Earn more than 75,000 on market deliveries. I would find it surprising if we delivered all of these 30 cars and we didn't manage to get... Uh, whatever it was, over 75,000 in profit. Right, what have we got here? We got some challenges. Some tall drawers. I mean, I kind of want to do tall drawers as a challenge. It's going to take nine days to do 15 units. I mean, if I was to create a plan, I mean, this is this is quite a complex plan. This is more complex than the trample car. Let me sort of work through this, right? Let me work through this. Let me see what we can. Let me see what we can do. All right, man. I love my word work and workshop. It is it is fantastic. It is it is real nice. Okay, glue station. Yep. Glue station. Isn't maybe time where we get rid of the woodworking desks? Is that a thing that we do? Right. Uh, I don't think that I'm going to... There we go. Okay, that's fine. Yeah. Need to make sure that one type of wood is slightly different from the rest to make sure that everything... Everything works just fine. Problem is, is that... This is a, uh, this is a pretty large, this is a pretty large piece of work. I'm not sure that, I'm not sure that we're going to be able to make it happen. Especially not with making these trample cars. Okay, uh, I think, I think, I think, I think, I think, I think, I think that we want to do the intermediate production right there. So we want to produce the drawer in the wood workshop and then all of this stuff. In fact, no, there's no point. There's no point in doing this. I mean, look, we've got three inputs to combine to make this simple little drawer. And then we've got three inputs for the final assembly. The problem is, is that, I mean, there's 240. 240 plus 60 plus 60. So that's like 360 inputs in order to make 60 drawers. That's a lot of running. That's a lot of running between the main building and the external building. Yeah, you know what? Let's make it right there. Okay. And then this is still, we're still going to have to shuttle across like, I don't know, 120 resources to the storage pile in the outhouse. But I think that that'll be worth it. I think that we can do this. I think that this is going to be our most challenging objective yet. Uh, and in order to do it, I think I'm going to have to employ some more workers. Right, let's get two more. Let's get two more people. And let's hope that we can pull it off. And let's see... Let's see if we have a little look at research and development. What's going on? Man, we are so close to hitting that next level. We are so close to hitting that next level. That is frankly scary. Right, well, with two more people, we should be... We should be fine, at least. Oh my goodness, why is there... Why is there plastic storage parts there? These plastic pellets are waiting to be melted, but we just don't have the storage for them over here. Uh, I mean, that's fixable. I can fix that right now. I can fix that right now by putting in an extra shelf right there, right? Getting that ordered and moving this storage section up. Yeah, there we go. All right. So if I get that all done, then that should mean... That stuff will be freed up. I mean, look at this. This is just chaos now. This is total chaos. Everything is going into the wrong place. Stuff is about to be chucked. It's going to be a lot of stuff. Oh, no. Yep. That's a lot of stuff. All right, but that's okay. It means at least we can get the other shelf done, which means that uh, we can get stuff moved into where it needs to be. Okay, I'm reasonably confident that we can make all of this happen. Let's just get all the plastic pellets moved to where they, uh, moved to where they need to be. Okay, everyone is passed out, which maybe leads me to believe that we haven't exactly got our break room just right. But I'm sure we will soon. Okay, the haulers, the haulers are still hauling stuff across, that's fine. Okay, we're actually making remarkably good progress on the tall drawers. Okay, get that repaired. Nice. We are negative currency, but that's okay. I mean, we can always... 
We can always sell off the refrigerator again if things get really dicey. Okay. Yeah, this is good. Drawers are being assembled. That's great. I mean, slowly but surely, slowly but surely, we're getting there. That's good. The real problem is, is that we are a little bit cash negative at the moment. We cannot go less than minus 5,000. That's that's the important thing. Uh, how close are we to getting some trample cars made? I mean, can I make some small wheels? I can't even make any small wheels at the moment. I can't make some small wheels. Uh... Yeah. Can I do that? Will that make a difference? Right, because I'm just thinking, I mean, I don't want to... I don't want to completely torpedo everything. If I could sell off just like one or two trample cars, then that might make my finances just... Just, you know, just get to get to where they need to be. Am I close? It's close. It's close. Oh, I mean, what do I want to sell? Is there anything that I can sell, like specialized equipment that I can that I can get rid of, that I can ditch? Because without selling some stuff, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go broke. How much does this thing sell for? Sell a paint station? Do I need to sell the paint station? No. Oh boy. I I mean I've taken this on I've taken this on board. And I feel like I can handle it. I just need I just need a little bit of a larger line of credit. You know what I mean? And the problem with the Swikea order is that I'm not gonna be able to cash that check up until up until up until the very end of the order. I think that we're in we're in the end game now, folks. Right, I'm going to go until I reach minus 4000 gnome coins. And then we're going to start selling off the stuff in our <laughs> the stuff in our in our break room. That's right. Get your get your get your last snacks orders in cuz we're selling we're selling the stuff in the break room. All right, we got one tall set of drawers ready to go. How much how much other capital can we liquidate in that time? As you can already see, it's had a pretty big uh, a pretty big effect. Okay, what's going on? There's something fishy going on in your factory. You may have several spies uh, track them down. Right, well everyone's asleep at the moment. I don't think that that's really a possibility. Three spies in the office? Whoa, you did something shifty right there. I don't know what that was, but there was something shifty going on. Am I going to get a, a massive paycheck if I catch these spies? Ah! That was you, monsieur. I saw you. You burst into flames. That was a bit... melodramatic. I mean... Nope, you're just angry at me. It's fine. You were just reading your newspaper. Ah, it was you. It was you. It was you. Give me money. 3,500 bucks. All right, that's kept me in the game. That's kept me in the game, and that's got me over the line. Give me something. And anti-slip boots... Take a class on how to get a sales pitch for reward. Oh, yes. Give this to me. Yes, please. Increase cash rewards for clients by 25%. I mean, that is if that comes into effect with my current Swikea order, I will be a very, very happy guy. Okay. Everyone is recovering. I'm not super happy at the rate that everyone is recovering. I still maintain things are going to be fine. I'm not worried. As long as we can survive that long. Things will be totally, totally A-OK. -okay. Alright, I mean, we got three tall drawers ready. I mean, that that's not bad. It's not bad at all, actually. 
We're 50% of the way there. We might be able to get a few trample cars done. Grand. Yeah. All right, perfect. I mean, we've still got the refrigerator to sell. we got two coffee machines to sell if we need to. And uh, I think we might need to. I think we might need to. I would love to I'd love to increase my lane of credit. That would be that would be great. That would be really really good if we could do that. Get that repaired. Sure. Okay. These haulers. I mean, I don't know how they how efficient they are at actually hauling stuff around, but the fact that they're not working half the time makes me think that they're either unbelievably efficient at their job such such that they can take a ridiculous a ridiculous amount of breaks. Or, in fact, operators are the way to go, and we need to be hiring way more operators. Oh boy, I mean, I don't think I've ever, I don't think I've ever flown this close to the sun before. This is so dodgy. So dodgy. I'm hoping that we get another sort of in-game event, you know, kill some mice or find some mold or, or do something. You know, that's 3,500 gold a pop when that happens. All right, we're down to minus 4,000 gold. Let's sell... Let's sell a coffee machine. Sell a coffee machine. Get it exported. Yep, there we go. That's, uh... That's, that's kept the wolves at bay for now, at least. I could fire some people. I kind of don't want to do that, because they're all... They're all skilled individuals, I believe. Uh, except, except that that's a complete lie. Right, Charlie Brown, your career has been four days long. I mean, you were the last through the door, and you're the first to leave. Get out of here. I think that there, uh, there may or may not be a lawsuit incoming. Oh my goodness, look at everyone's energy recovery. <laughs> this is real bad. This is real bad. Okay. Yep. Sell the, the video game thing and sell the television as well. Let's get both of those moved away. Okay. Liquidate some assets. There we go. 540 gold. Keep us going for a little bit. Trample cars. Trample cars can go out the door as well. What's the max price that I can get for a trample car? 102. Right. Let's get them delivered as well. Perfect. Right, get that out of here. Okay, so we're now in just a bad position. We're not in a terribly bad position. Has Have the chairs come back on the market yet? The chairs have come back on the market. Oh, this is bad, actually, because our chair apparently cannot compete with... It's 5, 10, 13. Yeah, so our chair is better in every sense, apart from the fact that it's not stylish enough. Unbelievable. I always knew that I didn't have the style necessary to create a fantastically popular line of chairs. Uh, trample car, I mean, I'm just going to sell the trample cars as they come in. In fact, no, I'm not. I mean, there's no point, right? If I can hold out until the next market cycle. When does the next market cycle switch on over? 16 hours? Right, I have a funny feeling that I probably won't be able to last that long. But I can certainly try. I definitely need to pimp out my break room again. When I get the next, uh, when I next get the opportunity, I really, I, I feel like there are some lessons to be learned here. You know, whenever there is a massive incident or a massive series of incidents that lead to, uh, you know, cataclysmic failure, I feel that there are some lessons to be learned. You know, but I'm just gonna push ahead. I'm gonna push ahead and uh, just refuse to take, uh, to take any of the lessons on board. Absolutely not not interested not interested at all. Okay, can we make some trample cars? We're almost we're almost ready to make some some trample cars And we're doing fine for tall drawers. I mean if I wasn't doing okay for tall drawers right now, I would be I would be freaking out Okay trample cars have reached their maximum price at least this specific one has so that's great. Let's get that sold Swikea Swikea is gonna keep me good. 
So IKEA, the, the, my my best customers. I'm bending over backwards to try and make sure that I accommodate all of their wishes. Bending over backwards, I tell you. Okay. Yeah, only the operators can actually repair the forge. Okay, fine, get that done. Come on, guys. Come on! Come on! We can get there. We're so close. We're losing that green bar. That terrifies me. Right. Where's our ranking? Oh, Nemesis Inc. is at the very top. Oh, that's cool. I didn't realize. I didn't realize the devil himself. All right, I'm back down to 70... Uh, t 26. My net worth is quite high, though. We need to... We need to crest 150 in order to... In order to get the silver achievement, though, so... That's something that we need to do. Oh, come on. We're so close. We're so close to making all of this stuff happen. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. We're almost there. We're almost there. Everyone is asleep, though. Everyone is asleep. And we're losing our green bar. Come on. Come on. Oh, great. Brain slugs. I love brain slugs. It's you. It's you. It's, it was, it's, it's, you've got a brain slug on you. You dirty, dirty dog. Right. Other brain slug. It's, 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 it's you, the, the sleeping one. There we go. 4,000. 4,000. Look at that. That is, that is money that's going to keep us afloat for now. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. I mean, I would like to buy some more break room equipment. I swear, I swear, as soon as, as soon as the Swikea order is completed, all, all of my money is going on improving my break room, and I'm not taking money, I'm not taking, I'm not taking stuff out of the break room. This is the last time, this is the last time that I'm dipping into my break room to liquidate capital. I promise, I absolutely promise. Okay, are we ready for, uh, you know, final assembly of all of the tall drawers? We're pretty darn close. We're really darn close. We just need a few more... A few more people. Oh, come on! Come on! We need this... We need this Swikea stuff. Oh, we're not gonna do it, are we? We're not gonna do it. I can just feel it. I can feel... I can feel it. It's not gonna happen. We're gonna lose out by just a... By just a little bit. Okay, um, I don't want, I don't want this. Send that to the bottom of the queue. I'm not interested. Oh no, everyone's out of energy. It's a disaster. It's a disaster, it's a total disaster. We've got all the bits and bobs as well. We just need to get them all fitted up together. Come on! Come on! We're 8 out of 15. So darn close. Come on, today's a today's a big a big day. A big day for us. I don't want to I don't want to lose client relations. Okay. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Swikea, Swikea, Swikea. Right. Get that sold off. Great, trample cars away. Cool, a little bit of extra money in the bank. Oh no, it's because it's because I sold all of my break room stuff. It's 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 turns it's turns sour real quick. It's so bad. It's so bad. I don't have any. I don't have anyone. I don't have anyone to assemble the the bits and bobs that I need to be assembled. It's it's a massive problem. It's a massive problem. We got six hours. We got six hours left in order to make the uh, the, the Swikea products, and we might get like one more set of drawers built. That's about it. All right. Well, you know what? We're still gonna we're still gonna end up with a massive payday. It's just not gonna be as massive a payday as I wanted. Yeah. Sorry, Swikea. I really let you down. Oh, we got eleven. We got eleven. No! Alright, well we got 13,000. That's not too bad. 
Market empty. Oh no, nobody's gonna take the tall drawers that I produced on the market. Oh, this is a disaster. They want the tall drawers, they just don't want my tall drawers. Oh boy, alright. Well, I mean, we need to reinvest in our break room. That is absolutely something that we need to do. I mean, I know that each and every time I do this, I'm just literally throwing money down the drain. I I'm- I'm- I'm aware of this. I I'm so aware of this. It's- it's so bad. I mean, somebody should really teach me how not to do this. Um, yeah, this is, this is, this is a big old bummer. It is a big old bummer. Uh, let's get another Vendotron as well. Okay, 7,700. That's what I'm gonna do. That's what it's gonna be like for, uh, for a while. And I think, you know what, in the next episode, ladies and gents, I'm, I'm gonna focus on not making as many mistakes as I did towards the end of this episode. I mean, look, honestly, Swikea, they're still... They still like me, you know? They still like me, that's still positive, that's still really, really good. However, however, we were so close! We were so close to getting that tall, uh, that tall drawer contract done and dusted. But alas, it just wasn't to be. Anyway, uh, ladies and gents, thank you very much uh, for watching this episode. Thanks, as ever, go to my fantastic... Patreons, uh, who, uh, or patrons, as they, as they're, as they are, as they should be known, uh, who, uh, who make videos like this possible. It is greatly appreciated. Hopefully you'll tune in for the next episode, folks. I'll see you next time. Bye.